Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with the breakdown for fiction productions in Dramatify. In this tutorial we will cover how to prepare your production for breakdown, a walkthrough of the breakdown page, how to make a first fast budget breakdown, the scene list, adding scene items to characters outside of the breakdown, adding scene items to sets outside of the breakdown, and finally the breakdown report. Before you start the breakdown, you need your screenplay in place. If you have imported your screenplay, you usually also import any characters with dialogue and all the sets mentioned in the screenplay. We recommend that you go through these lists to remove any screenwriter errors. There might be misspellings that create two characters where there should be one, or differently worded sets where there should only be one. Grammatify's breakdown page consists of four basic feature areas. The first is the basic scene information in the upper left corner. Here you see the scene text as a reference. Just scroll down in the text window to read it in its entirety. Underneath you add a short synopsis to separate the scene in scene lists and call sheets from scenes with similar slugs. You then either select an existing set or create a new set. If you create a new set and have not yet added any shooting locations, you can just leave that blank. Dramatify have four time of day statuses to choose between. Dawn, day, dusk and the night. They can be different from what's indicated in the slug, afternoon for example. When you have added set and time of day, you will see that the background of the scene slug changes from lightly striped to a correct strip board color. The stripe design is both in the scene list, breakdown and scheduling a warning sign that the scene isn't properly broken down. The page calculate feature gives you the option of calculating or recalculating pages if you have rewritten scenes in Dramatify. Most fiction productions rely on parts of pages to calculate the time of the finished production as well as production time. We think that's a bit old-fashioned, and therefore give you the option of estimating how long each finished scene will be, as well as estimate the production time for each scene. Adding those times allows you also to see the total times on top of the scene list page, but also automatically get total working hours for each day and team in the scheduling as well as in call sheets. In the call sheets you also automatically get a complete production schedule with time when each scene should start shooting. In the bottom left you have notepads for both breakdown notes and the director's notes to use if you wish. In the upper left of the page you add characters and stunts. To add an existing character just start typing the name. To add a new character just click the link. You add the name of the new character and select the type of the character. You use atmosphere extras when you want to add cast in bulk, such as 20 cafe visitors or 10 police officers. These cast members are not credited by name in Dramatify, nor have access to the app, but are instead handled by casting. In the bottom right corner you have scene items. Here you do the technical breakdown. You can add scene items to three different objects, to the set, to the character and lastly to the scene. Scene items that belong to characters can be made persistent. That means that once added, they will always appear with that character as soon as you add that character to a scene. If a character always wears glasses, that is a persistent item. If a character wears glasses in some scenes, that is not a persistent item. Items to be added to the scene itself are items that are unique to that scene and which do not belong to the set or a character. Items you add is also assigned to a department who is responsible for them. It might be wardrobe for a character's clothes, set construction for building a set, or special effects for pyrotechnics. Many productions prefer to do a first quick breakdown to see how the screenplay works within the allotted budget, how long the finished production will run, and how much production time will be needed. To make the quick breakdown, all you have to do is select or add the set, select time of day, and then, if you wish, estimate the time of the finished scene in the field for the estimated segment time, and estimate the production time of the scene. Click to save. 
Now do that to the entire screenplay. Then click on Scenes in the Toolbar and you'll get the estimated time of the finished production as well as the total estimated production time at the top of your scene list. If you want to see how that plays out in shooting days, click on Planning and use the drag and drop scheduling to roughly plan out the shooting days. If you have added segment times and total production times to the scenes, Dramatify automatically calculates each day for you. Add timed banners for any breaks, prep times, transport and other non-shooting events to get the total working hours for each day. The scene list is available for all team members. Here you get the compressed version of the finished breakdown depending on your access level. As an admin you can see all information while regular members cannot access the detailed set and character information. At the top you have the estimated running time and production time of the production. The slug have the technical set and lighting information with a short synopsis underneath and then information on page parts and the individual scene segment time and production time. At the tabs below, from the left you have main and supporting characters and cost, extras, stunts and atmosphere characters and cost and location. After that you can click to get to the scene items. The first icon is for the set and you'll click to go to the set and view the full list of scene items. Admins as well as team members belonging to the set construction and props department have access to this information. The hanger symbolizes scene items for characters. Click on a character and you'll get transferred to that character's page with all scene items for that character, as well as lists for items per scene. All admins, as well as members belonging to wardrobe, hair and makeup and props automatically have access to this information. The box symbolizes the item for the scene which is listed right in the scene list. This is accessible for all team members. Most people only add what the script explicitly states to the breakdown, but wardrobe, makeup and other items play an important part in portraying a character. Therefore we added the option of adding scene items directly to characters. Go to characters, choose a character and click. A costume designer or buyer can also add options to each item. For instance, three different jackets to try on before deciding on the right one. This makes it simple to keep in mind which alternatives are up for fitting or need to be returned. All admins as well as members belonging to wardrobe, hair and makeup and props automatically have access to add and edit scene items and their options for characters. Each character also have a list of all scene items belonging to that character. You can filter the list on departments to see what exactly what your department is responsible for. You can also filter on persistent and non-persistent items if you wish. Below, we also show all the characters' items per scene. Persistent items are shown with white background and non-persistent items with grey background. Set works similar to characters. Here, team members belonging to the set construction and props departments, as well as any admin, can add scene items with options outside of the breakdown. A set do not have any persistent or non-persistent items, since everything in a set is the same from scene to scene. If it's not, then it's an item that belongs to the scene and is added in the breakdown. The list of scenes the item is used in is visible above the items list. With admin rights, you can view and print a breakdown report with all items for either the entire screenplay, an episode of a series or a single scene. That was all for now. Thank you for dramatifying your production.